Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be super relaxed. I have some tea in front of me. I'm going to chat a little bit about my most recent trip to Disney World while I show you what I bought. So I guess it's a shopping haul, but it's kind of a tiny little shopping haul. And yeah, I'm just really glad that you're here. So, um, let's see. I'm back. <laughs> I've been back for like a week. It has been a crazy week, like trying to get settled back in. I don't know what it is about this trip, but I think because there was so much activity and so many people, I'm kind of having a hard time acclimating back to normal life more than I normally have. Um, but that's not a complaint. I, you know, we had such a great time. It was such an amazing trip worth it. I've just had a little bit of trouble with like motivation. So I have got some tea in one of the things that I purchased and we're just going to go over the few items that I bought and I'm going to share a little bit of my um, kind of initial thoughts after this trip. If you are not already caught up on the trip vlogs, make sure you go ahead and do that. So far I've got up a packing video and then the first two days and I'll have another one coming up later on this week. So on that topic, make sure you subscribe because it's free and it's easy and you just hit that subscribe button and it's a win-win, right? I hope, I think. You can always change your mind later. So let's start with this mug. I bought this, I found this at the Grand Floridian. I did end up seeing it more places as the week went on, so it is new. It is part of that same homestead line where I got that other mug that I loved, and you know how it is. if you When you see these things, you have to get them. Um, it is stoneware, and it says home with the little Mickey. So cute. I love that it's dishwasher safe. You guys know I have given, um, I've given Disney a little bit of grief over things not being dishwasher safe the last couple of years, but this absolutely is. And let's just take a sip of tea to make sure. So good. This is my Yorkshire gold tea, by the way. Just absolutely quality. Um, so yeah, this was one of my purchases. This was $14.99, kind of the typical Disney mug price. I've used it pretty much every day since we got back, so really happy with that purchase. Now, this next thing that I picked up, actually, I'm gonna wait on that. Let's talk about the shopping for a minute because here's the reality of the, of the situation. The shopping was not great, and I have heard that from other people, so I'm not the first one to make this observation. It, uh, it, it, it didn't feel original to me. It, I, there may very well be supply chain issues, and I understand that everyone's doing the best they can with that, so that is not a criticism in any way, shape, or form, right? So, um, yeah, I just was not real happy with the selection at most of the shops. It, it just felt like everything was kind of the same. Um, everything felt very minimal, and there was really nothing terribly original that I wanted to buy. Now, one of the things I had hoped to buy was some of the 50th anniversary merchandise, and there was like nothing. Um, I joked about in the video that I'm getting ready to put up that there was like some calendars and some teeny tiny shirts, and that was it. And I'm not kidding you guys. That was really all that they had. I did, however, pick up a couple of things that I love. This one was from the Christmas shop, and again, I was looking for the resort specific ornaments, but they were out of almost everything. They only had a couple that were that were good, but I did get this one from Port Orleans um, Riverside because, and I do love the Port Orleans resorts, but mostly I got it because it has Tiana on it, and I absolutely love her. I have found myself uh, just kind of resonating with her more and more, her attitude, her style, her work ethic, her entrepreneurship, all of these great things. And I absolutely feel like she does not get as much love as she should get. Um, although I know, you know, they're trying and with the new ride and whatever. But I just loved how it had this like stained glass look to it. This is not a new ornament. It's not, you know, groundbreaking or anything. I just really loved it. And it was $17. And it is kind of ceramic. So a really, really pretty ornament. So I picked up that. And then I did get a calendar. Now, I have not opened this yet. But it is the 50th anniversary calendar. This is what the front looks like. Super cute. You've got the Fab Five and the Chipmunks. No Daisy. Like, why are we including the Chipmunks, but we're not including Daisy? I don't know. And you've also got Tinkerbell. So you've got Tinkerbell, but you've got no Daisy. I don't get it. 
Um, but yeah, it just has different scenes for the 50th on the back. I thought this would be really fun. I always keep a calendar like this um, on a magnet on the side of our refrigerator. So I thought this one would be really fun and festive as we all celebrate the 50th together. So there you go. Is that our thumbnail? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay, so I got that. Now, this next two things that I bought. One I actually bought once I got home because um, the line was released kind of as I was in transit. You guys know when I buy Dooney and Burke bags, which I have not bought a new Dooney and Burke for a minute, I really do prefer to pick them out in person because the pattern placement is really important to me. Okay, hold on. That requires a sip of tea. So I found this bag, interestingly, First, I saw it at the Something Something Jewelers that's in Disney Springs. And then I took it out in the sun and I noticed it had a little bit of a scratch on it. So I ended up taking it back. We switched it out for a different bag, but I couldn't find as good of pattern placement. So she said, go look in the Disney co-op shop. She's super helpful, the manager there. See what selection they have. They, they have a few more patterns than we do. If you see one you like better, she will change it out there, which is what I ended up doing. And it is the sketch pattern little crossbody. Now, this is the vinyl sketch pattern. The reason I am loving the vinyl instead of the coated cotton is this holds up much, much better in the rain. Now, I do have the full-size backpack in this pattern, but this is new, and I had not seen this before. Saw it, loved it, knew I had to have it. It's a perfect crossbody length for me, and more importantly, it's just the right size. It's not too small. It's not too big. Um, I already used it while we were there. I don't think there's anything in here. It does have the red interior. It does have the little key fob, which I always love. Although if I'm using it predominantly at Disney, I don't know what I would do, but it is the vinyl with the leather. This is where I noticed the little scratch, which in the store didn't show up, but in the light, it absolutely did. But check out the pattern placement. Like <laughs> if you're not a Dooney and Burke fan, you're going, what is this woman even talking about? But this one is a big deal. So we have a full Mickey and a full Minnie and a full little Donald hat in the middle. And this sketch pattern has been around now for a minute, so I'm really familiar with it. You've got, you can see Walt Disney almost, but look what you can see, Disneyland. You know how I feel about that, more on that in a minute. You've got a full Cinderella slipper here. You've got a mini bow, a goofy hat, a little bit of a Dumbo. And then on the back, we've got our girl Tinkerbell, and we've got a full Walt Disney World and Disneyland, a full ear hat, a rose, the balloons, which I love. The only thing I did not get was a full castle. I've got a portion of a castle there. I've got, who is that, Chipper Dale? That is Dale right there. And then I've got another Dale on the other side. But overall, I was really, really happy with this pattern placement. And I'm so glad I went over to the other shop because they did have more to choose from. The cast members are always great about pulling everything out so we can look at it together and I can decide which one I want, um, which kind of makes it fun. I mean, it's kind of like part of the process, right? So this was super fun to pick out. It was a great story. And this was, I think... I've already taken the price tag off, so I will find the price online and I will put it down here for you. I did get 20% off on this bag, and that is another reason why I prefer to buy them in the parks or at Disney Springs instead of on Shop Disney, because um, I can pick out the pattern placement and I get my 20% DVC discount, whereas when I buy them on Shop Disney, I only get 10% and free shipping almost all the time. So it's not as big of a discount. So this is the bag I bought. I used a ton while we were there. I just love it. I love this bag. All right, now this next bag, when I got home, I saw it on the Shop Disney website and I haven't even opened it up yet. So technically this is not a, a shopping haul item, but I guess it sort of is. Is there like an over under on that? Like if it's within, <laughs> if it's within so many days of your trip, you get to count it. Um, and I am seeing this for the first time. So I am showing you guys the pattern placement as I am seeing it, okay? So if for some reason um, I don't absolutely love it, it will go back. But we can decide together if we love the pattern placement. So this is the Jared, um, I can never pronounce, I want to make sure I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. And I can't look it up on my phone. Anyway, I don't want to butcher his last name. 
Um, it Let's see, is it on this? They're just saying Jared everywhere. It doesn't have his last name, but it's the same amazing designer that did, where are my other Jared pieces? That did this really sweet um, Dumbo. I've got the little tray. Is it on the bottom of this? Of course he signed it, but his last name is not on there. So as opposed to butchering it, I will just list it here below. I actually follow him on Instagram and Twitter. Such a talented artist. Um, we're, I think we're around the same age and we have the same kind of nostalgic ideas of what Disney was when we were young. And I just love his stuff. So when I saw this line drop, I was like, must have, must have. Again, am I going to keep it? I don't know. Um, it is this little crossbody, and this is the size. And God, I wish it said, it just says Jared everywhere. Where is his last name? Oh, that's so annoying. Um, okay, anyway, uh, Jared, I'm apologizing because I didn't want to butcher your name. So, this bag, um, I loved the size on it and I still have it all like everything wrapped on it. So let's take that. Oh, I love that it's got the little blue contrasting pipe. So cute. We'll just rip that right off. Now it has, sometimes I find on the Shop Disney website, they don't give, in my opinion, enough details about the bags. So that was the other reason I wanted to get this and unbox it for you guys. So if you were interested in it, you could really see it up close. I'm already seeing something I love on the pattern placement, but let's see what we think. All right, so front and center, we have got um, Scully. Is that his name? You guys, first of all, I always get things wrong when I do these because I'm on the spot. So it isn't always necessarily that I don't intellectually know what it is. It's just that I'm on the spot, but I think it's, um, is that right? Anyway, I'll put it down here. And I've got Snow White and the Wishing Well. I'm wishing. Love her. Love. Um, I've got a little balloon. I have got a full castle. Now it ends there and it's got the little face, but look at that. I've got a full castle. I have got a full white rabbit in a teacup. I have got a full goofy as a skipper on the jungle cruise. I have got a full figment, a full Matterhorn with a Yeti. I have got, or he's actually the abominable snowman at uh, Disneyland. I've got a little Dutch boy from Small World. I've got a tiki bird. I've got half of an Epcot ball. Okay, I am loving this. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. The placement here is amazing. And his name is just on the tip of my tongue. You guys are probably screaming it. It's not Scully. I know that's not it. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I'll think of it. <laughs> um, and then I've got a Mickey um, ice cream sandwich, which is ironic because you guys know I'm an ice cream sandwich girl, not a um, Mickey bar girl. So that works. Um, a couple other little snacks. I'm loving the Tiki Bird. I've got another figment. Ah, I've got a Mr. Toad on the side. I've got a popcorn cart. I've got part of the Haunted Mansion, guys. And then on the back, I have got a full Epcot ball. I have got a Hollywood um, Tower of Terror little guy. I've got a full Space Mountain. I've got a full Pirates. I've got a full Orange Bird. And I've got a full Haunted Mansion, full Toad, another full Figment, and a balloon, and another almost full Castle. Thrilled. Thrilled with this product placement. Now, if I were sitting there with a bunch of other ones, might I go with something different? Maybe Scuttle. Is that his name? Scuttle? Mm. Okay. I feel like every time I do one of these kind of videos with you guys, there's one thing that I just can't remember for the life of me, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I, I am loving this. Now the size on this, I cannot. Like it's very petite and yet it's very cute. Now this one is the coated cotton instead of the vinyl. So I would not want to take this out on a rainy day, but it also has the crossbody straps. And one of the things that I don't feel like they showed very well online Oh, there's my strap. Okay, hold on. Let's, whoops, let's take that out. Um, was how the crossbody strap attached. I will say this packaging is coming off very easily, which is making me happy. And you know, years past, sometimes it doesn't. You need like a, whew, I need a little tea break. This is, this is exhausting. Oh, my lipstick's on there. Oh, well. Oh, it's almost fall here. 
and it's Atlanta, so it's still very warm today, but I'm starting to like feel the warm turn a little bit, starting to feel, you know, the sun's going down a little earlier and the air is just starting to change. And I did find one red leaf in my yard. Okay, so here is our crossbody and it has a little blue contrasting, which I love. And it's just gonna attach on either side with the rings. I love that the crossbody rings are on the outside of the bag. I think that's really helpful. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can wear it as a um, crossbody. So you can just adjust the straps to whatever works for you. All right, let's take all this stuff out of here. And the inside is just the solid red. And oh my gosh, I'm even loving that I have Donald Duck in a little car on the inside. No one will see that, but how cute is that? Scuttle, pretty sure it's Scuttle. Just The brain is just gonna keep going. And your little key fob. And I'm loving that it has this little snap. So do you see how that works? And what is there? I've got just some snacks and the Matterhorn and the White Rabbit. But that is so cute to me because it's, as opposed to being like a full zipper, your stuff is still in there and protected, but it's not like a zipper. So it's super easy to just get in and out of. And you've also got inside a zipper pocket there and then a secondary pocket over here. I love this. I think it's cute. It's a little bit more dressed up. And the pattern placement, I could not be happier. So this retailed for $198. I did get 10% off. They did have them on Shop Disney when I got this. One of the things I've learned to do on Shop Disney with the bags is if you think you might want it, get it because you can always return it um, and you're better off getting it instead of, you know, not, not having it. This is the brilliance that you show up for my channel. <laughs> You're better off having it than not having it. There you go. And it does have the little leather tag on it, which I love. And it's got Jared's signature. He went to Jared. <laughs> Different Jared, but still good. And, um, and the little Disney logo. Love everything about this bag. Um, this is not a size. Oh, and I just noticed I've even got a um, ticket book back here. I've got a blue balloon. I've got some churros, um, another tiki, like the detail on this bag. We could talk about it all day. I just love it. And I've got, of course, the um, it's a small world sun, not the sun, but I guess he's he's a face is what you would call him. Uh, so, so cute. It just, it's, it's like a little lady's bag and it's, it's the perfect size for my park essentials. Um, and I love it. I love it. Is it practical? No. Um, will I wear it anywhere other than Disney? Probably not. I don't take my Disney bags out other than when I'm at Disney, but, and now I'll get to the second part. I actually leave for California on Saturday. <laughs> so, this, this season right now is a little crazy with lots of Disney trips in short succession. And it's for several different reasons. Obviously, it's a little bit of revenge travel. Obviously, I had not been to all of the parks, dying to get back in the parks. And my Disneyland visit has a very close to home emotional pull for me. If you've watched any of my other videos, particularly the one that I just did a couple months ago about why I like Disneyland better than Disney World, it is my family connection is at Disneyland. And not having been there for all of these months has been challenging for me. Um, I know that sounds super dumb, but I'm just really excited to get back there um, to see it. There are, um, you know, the new all the new Marvel stuff I can't wait to see. There are things there that I'm just super excited about. I've not been now for almost three years, and I think that's the longest I've ever gone without being to Disneyland in maybe literally my entire life. So, um, very excited about that. This little cutie pie is definitely going with me to Disneyland. I just, I cannot, I'm so glad that I went ahead and got it. And I will put the link below if you are interested in picking one up for yourself. So of the two Dooney bags, I love this one too. And this one is kind of like a little bit more practical again, because it's the vinyl, it's classic, it's all the things. I have the kind of larger coated cotton version of this one. Um, I have not added to my Disney bag collection in a minute um, since I sold like my lounge flies and a couple of my other Dooney and Burks. So I had like some, some Disney purse money jangling around in my coin purse 
in my head. Um, and I'm just really happy with both of these. Um, they're very different little bags. I know like some of you who watch who aren't into the bags are like, they look the same to me. <laughs> Obviously not. Obviously the colors are very different. I will use them different times. This is just, I, I've not, I, I think, um, I, oh, I didn't even notice this, the zipper in the front. Sorry, there is also a zipper in the front. And I wonder, I think that will fit my phone. Uh, maybe not. It might be too small for my phone. But that's really great to put like ID and anything you want to make sure you have easily accessible. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so as I said, the shopping was not great. The other reason that I did not buy much while we were there is even, to, and, and I'm maybe not being fair, because there were a whole bunch of shops on Main Street I didn't even go into, the crowds in the shops are still giving me anxiety. And so I didn't, um, I didn't really shop much in the Emporium. I was in there with my friend James for about five seconds and the crowds were just putting me through the roof. So um, I think maybe if I'd had more time to look, but I just wasn't, I wasn't in a shopping frame of mind because the selection wasn't great and also the crowds were giving me a nervous breakdown. So um, it just wasn't that trip. It just wasn't the trip for shopping. So we'll see when I'm at Disneyland here next week if there's anything else that I might not be able to live without. I realize it was kind of a small shopping haul. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with a few things that I got. And yeah, that, that Jared bag is, uh, yeah, Let me, let's talk about the Let's talk about this for 15 more minutes. No, we don't need to do that. Um, so keep watching, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. I'll have lots more videos coming from this trip, from my Disneyland trip. And then sooner than any of you understand, I also have a Disney cruise coming up. So I have tons of content to share in the coming weeks and months, and I can't wait to bring it all to you. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're being really good to each other. This is a really fun way to spend a Saturday afternoon, although you're probably not going to see it till Monday. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time.